Hello, I'm Professor Von Schmohawk, and welcome to Why You. When we first introduced the concept of exponents, we saw that any number a raised to the nth power, where n is a positive integer, is equivalent to n a's multiplied together. This is true not only for numbers and variables, but it is also true for expressions. If we enclose an expression in parentheses, we can raise the entire expression to a power. This is equivalent to n copies of the expression multiplied together. For example, let's say we take the expression a cubed and square it. This is equivalent to two copies of a cubed multiplied together, which is a times a times a times a times a times a. Of course, six a's multiplied together is a to the sixth power. Notice that the exponent of a times the power this expression was raised to equals the exponent of the result. In general, if we start with a with an exponent of m and raise that expression to some power n, this is equivalent to n copies of that expression multiplied together. Since these multiplied expressions have the same base, we can add their exponents. This gives us an exponent of n m's added together. m added together n times is m times n. So the result is a to the m times n power. So as a general rule, if we take any term with an exponent of m and we raise that exponential term to the nth power, we can multiply the two exponents. For example, if we take 10 squared and cube it, this is the same as 100 cubed. And 100 times 100 times 100 is 1 million which is 10 to the sixth power. Likewise, if we take 10 cubed and square it, this is the same as 1,000 squared, and 1,000 times 1,000 is 1 million, or 10 to the sixth power. So squaring 10 cubed and cubing 10 squared both give the same result 10 to the sixth power. This makes sense because when we multiply the exponents 3 and 2, or 2 and 3, either way we get 6. Now what do you think would happen if we raise an exponential term to the zero power? If we raise any exponential term to the zero power, when we multiply the exponents, the result will always have an exponent of zero. So the result will always be equal to one. So just like numbers and variables, any exponential term raised to the zero power is equal to one. So far we have seen that any term with an exponent of m raised to the nth power is equivalent to that term with the two exponents multiplied. But what if one or both of the exponents are negative? Will we still get the correct result when we multiply the exponents? Let's see what happens when we take a cubed and raise that expression to the negative second power. Remember that anything with a negative exponent is equivalent to one over that thing with the same positive exponent. So instead of a cubed to the negative two, let's write one over a cubed to the positive two. Now, multiplying the exponents, we get one over a to the sixth power, which is the same as a to the negative sixth power. Since three times negative two is negative six, so far, our rule of multiplying exponents works. 
Now let's try the same problem, except this time we'll make the other exponent negative. We'll start by rewriting a to the negative third as one over a cubed. And squaring one over a cubed is the same as one over a cubed times one over a cubed. To multiply these fractions, we multiply their denominators and we get one over a to the sixth power, which is the same as a to the negative sixth power. Since negative three times two is negative six, it looks like our rule for multiplying exponents still holds. Now let's see if our rule works when both exponents are negative. The term in parentheses has an exponent of negative two. So let's rewrite it as one over the same term with an exponent of positive two. In the previous example, we found that if we square a to the negative three, we get a to the negative six. And one over a to the negative six is the same thing as a to the positive six. Since negative three times negative two is positive six, we have showed that our rule of multiplying exponents works whether the sign of either exponent is positive or negative. So far we have seen that any term with an exponent of m raised to the nth power is equivalent to that term with the two exponents multiplied, and that this rule holds regardless of the signs of the exponents. In the next lecture, we will see what happens when products or quotients of exponential terms are raised to powers.